Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to have a look at the track list and we're going to talk about this section here which is the filters for the track list because this is how you can search and find your tracks look for tracks of a specific type or audio tracks in specific ways that may help you find the kind of tracks that you want to fly or tracks that you're specifically looking for. So we'll start at the top and we'll just work our way down through this and at the moment I've got these two filters here this is the scene filter so this controls what scenes you're looking at I've just got this set to all tracks at the moment and then the class filter which controls what class of tracks you're going to see I've got set to any class so at the moment we're looking at all tracks for any class of quad so we've actually got the largest list of tracks here because it's all scenes and all classes of quads so this is you know over a thousand tracks are being displayed in our track list at the moment so if we start at the top if I just want to see tracks that have got the name street in them for example for street league I can type street and you'll see that nothing happens at this point now if I hit enter now or I click the little magnifying glass here it will then apply that search term okay so there we go so now we are seeing all the tracks that have got the word street in them as you can see street is in all of these particular tracks and the other thing I want to bring your attention to when we're going through this is that there is a key here and this key tells you what the little icons all represent so the little circle with a tick in it the blue one that's a verified track so that's a or some people call it an official track that's a track that's been promoted by a track manager to be on everybody's track list by default so it's not a downloaded track it's not a track you've made it's one that you get by default with the simulator so that's verified tracks and then a community track is one that you've created or one you've downloaded from the online user track database then the tick will show you a new track which is this green tick here and then the heart is a favorited track now at the moment these are all outline hearts so I have ha actually haven't favorited anything as yet but if I was to favorite something like uh, let's see let's favorite this one here you can see it now turns into a filled purple heart and when I go over it it goes red so if you've got a purple heart there then that's a favorite track and you can unfavorite it as well just by clicking on it so that's the key for the tracks so I've searched on street and now I'm seeing all the tracks with the name street in them <coughs> uh, and if I want to get rid of that filter I need to delete it and again nothing happens at this point unless I click on the magnifying glass to apply that or I hit enter so this time I'll just hit enter and now we go back to our full list of tracks now if I only want to see tracks by a particular scene so for instance if I'm just interested in uh, let's say the apocalypse scene I can select that and it will just show me tracks for the apocalypse scene and then any search I do or any filtering that I do elsewhere will only be for that apocalypse scene so the way the filter section works is it applies all the filters that you have currently set so if I still had street written in here it was it would be showing me the apocalypse scene and any tracks that have got street in them and it wouldn't find any so I'd have an empty track list so if you ever find yourself in the situation where you're looking at your track list and you're thinking oh, I don't seem to have any tracks then normally it's because you've left a search term up here which needs to be deleted and then click the magnifying glass or press enter and then you'll get your full list of tracks back or alternatively you've got one of these other filters set which means that it's not showing you anything so for instance if you haven't favorited any tracks and you turn on the favorite checkbox then you're not going to see any tracks and you're not going to see any tracks on any scene it doesn't matter what you do you're going to see nothing even if you go to all tracks there's nothing because I haven't favorited any tracks whereas if I was to favorite this DDR series one like that and then click favorites now I just see my favorited track which is the DDR series track and if I unfavorite that it's now gone 
Okay, so next thing down is the is the scene selector. So that allows us to select what scene we want to look at. The one under that allows us to, to view what tracks we want to see by category of track. So if I'm only interested in tracks that are for micro quads, for instance, for beginners, then I can click micro beginner and this will just show me tracks that are suitable for using a micro quad and are designed for a beginner. And if I want to see micro intermediate, then I can see those. And if I want to see micro advanced, then I can see those. So that's what this uh, track type filter does. It filters the tracks by the type of tracks you want to see. And again, if you leave this turned on and you're looking in a scene where there aren't any micro tracks. So for instance, if I went to Combat Canyon and I'm looking for uh, advanced micro tracks, I'm not going to see anything because there aren't any micro advanced tracks in the Combat Canyon. Whereas if I go back to any class, then I can see that there's pylons and Warzone in there. Okay, so that's this filter. I'm now going to go back to all tracks. So we're looking at all tracks. So we're now, we're not searching on, on anything. We're looking at all tracks and we're looking at all types of track. So again, we've got our thousand plus tracks in our list here. And now I can say, just show me the new tracks. So these are tracks that have been added to my database in the last couple of weeks. And once you go beyond a couple of weeks, they'll lose their green tick and just be considered a normal track like any other track in your database. But when you start your sim up and you get the latest official tracks downloaded or you download some tracks yourself or you create a track, then for a period of a couple of weeks, it will have the green tick on it. The other thing we can do is we can sort by date. And you can see here that when I sort by date, unsurprisingly, all the green ticked tracks come to the top of the list because these are the ones that have been added to my database most recently. And this is the order that they've been added to my database. And we can go down that list in the order that they've been added to this particular database. And this will be different for different users as well because it's a representation of the tracks when they were added to your database not when they were added to our server. So if you haven't run your SIM for a long time and you suddenly decide to run it, you're going to get a lot of tracks downloaded and they will all be green ticked. And then two weeks later, the green tick will disappear. Okay, so that's date order, new tracks. And then if we come to favoriting, Again, favoriting is just whatever you've hearted. So if you heart, you know, a few tracks here and then you go to favorite, you'll see those tracks. And if you unheart one of them and then flick it on off, that track will disappear. So that's how the favoriting works. So I guess the key thing to remember from this is that when you're looking in your track list, the track list is going to, going to apply everything that you've selected. So if you've selected, you know, apartment and you've selected, you know, micro beginner and you've selected date order and favorited and new tracks, it probably should come as no surprise that there's no results and there's no tracks for you to select. And the only track is the last one that you flew, which is this current track up the top here, because that one never changes. Whatever your last flown track was when you last used the sim will always be at the top. So if you're ever looking at your track list and thinking, why can't I see anything? Then it's probably because you've got a filter applied. And we can go back, remove any search terms, go back to all tracks, any class, untick everything, and we get all of our tracks back. So whenever you're trying to drill down, always try just to go with one thing at a time. If you can't see what you were expecting to see, make sure you haven't got a filter set that you've forgotten about which is restricting your view and stopping you from seeing what you want to see. Okay, so and that's pretty much it. That's how the track filter system works. It's fairly straightforward. It's not difficult to use. And as you can see on the latest update of the simulator, it's super fast at applying 
all of the filters that you want to apply. There's no waiting for it to update anymore. It's it's really really quick. You know, if I click it, it's it's there straight away. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to cover as this stuff was new in the new update. And I'll see you in the next video.